This is the plaintiff, Donica Streeter. She says she had a direct TV dish installed on the roof, and her landlord told her to take it down. Then the hothead went ahead and cut the wires himself and took the dish down. He never informed her she wouldn't be allowed to have a dish on the roof. Direct TV took a $440 disconnection fee out of her bank account, and she's suing the defendant for that and $700 in emotional distress. This is the defendant, Paul Doran. He says the plaintiff moved into one of his apartments, didn't pay the first month's rent, but bought direct TV and a cat instead. The dish put holes in his roof he didn't authorize. The woman doesn't pay him rent and he wants her out. The fact that she brought him in here to court today is laughable and he thinks the judge is gonna agree and he'll walk out the winner. He's accused of dishing it to a tenant. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says her landlord demanded she take her direct TV All dish right. off the roof and People's then cut the wires. Session. But the, the defendant the says the front. plaintiff is a deadbeat who put holes in his roof. It's the, the, the case of, I'll direct your TV Looking off my roof. Morning, Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Okay. Oh, man, you got oh, no, yeah, you're, you to, you're yeah, on up. You're up. <laughs> Batter up. Right, right there, you're right Squeeze behind. Right Bang. Right. You're on the spotlight. There, there. You go. <laughs> you're the plaintiff, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma Donica Streeter. Yes, ma'am. You are suing Paul Doran, your landlord. Is she still living there? Yes. Okay, Paul Doran, your landlord, for one thousand one hundred and forty dollars, four hundred and forty of it, an early disconnect fee that you think you uh, ended up absorbing and you shouldn't have, and seven hundred dollars for emotional distress because he took away your TV. Yes, what is going on? Well, Your Honor, I moved in. I brought. Um, my when TV. did you move in? I moved in the apartment in the ending of May. Like of around 2014? May. Yes. Okay. And um, I moved in after, I moved the little kitten in just for a few days for my son. He was there with me for like a few days out of the summer. And I had the kitten What's a few me. days out of summer? Like a week. So you had a, a pet in there for a week? One week. Do, is there a lease? Yes. May I see the lease? I don't you have a lease. You don't have it? Do you have a lease? Uh, Nobody has a lease? It's kind of going to tell me the rules about whether she can have a pet or not. All right, go it, on. It says no, no animals no to stay. Animals. And I just had it there for my son. When, I mean, the, yeah, uh, it's the, the animals can't visit either. When, you oh, know. Okay. <laughs> but let's talk about the satellite mm -hmm. dish. What happened? Well, my associate, he gave me a refer friend for the satellite direct TV. As soon as I moved in the apartment, as soon as I got my tape television. Which Meaning I got, what, he gets $100 if you yes, sign up? Yes, Did he give so you a we, cut of it? We did that arrangement when he, he gave me the, he, you know, he came and called the DirecTV people. And they didn't ask for any permission from him or from anyone to put the direct. Did you? I asked him if I could have it. And he didn't say, he said, I don't want it. Put it, pull it down. Wait, so, wait, 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 wait. Did you ask him if you could have it before you got it? No, I did not. Okay, uh, the only reason I'm asking is because DirecTV, unlike cable, you have to attach something to the roof, right? Mm -hmm. Or to yes. the side of the building, or whatever. So you're, you know, you're, you, you are attaching something to somebody else's property because you're a renter, you're not an owner. Yeah, that's not my apartment. Right. I understood that. So first you put it up, mm -hmm. and then what happened? He got mad? Yes, he told me to pull it down, and I called DirecTV, and I told them the landlord does not want the satellite dish on the roof, can y'all please relocate it or, or take it down? So they came to my apartment to try and relocate it, and they said that there was no place to relocate it, and by that time, he had went up on the roof and cut the wires himself, and that's exactly what the super uh, Giuliani, I believe his name is, the super that of his building that works in his building, told me, he said he watched him go on the roof, cut my satellite dish down, and put it in my living room without my permission of coming into my apartment. And that's what he did. Okay. Okay. So if I understand you correctly, mm -hmm. he took your trespassing dish off his roof. Okay. <laughs> right? So he trespassed okay. back into my apartment and re-trespassed, re gave okay. me back And he house. had asked you to take it down for how long at that point? He asked me to take it down for maybe like two weeks. And why hadn't it been down in those two weeks? I didn't know how to cut it. I wasn't going on the roof to remove it. No, but why hadn't you paid somebody to take it down or gotten DirecTV out there to take it down? I called DirecTV to come and take it down and asked them to, they just suspended the service. They didn't come and 
they told me that the satellite dish was mine and that they didn't come fast enough for Mr. Fast Pitt. enough? They weren't going to come at all. They oh. said the satellite dish was yours. You already paid for it and tough. And then they charged you $440 for an early disconnect fee, which is what you're suing for. Yes, ma'am. And then the $700 of emotional distress is because? No television, just sitting in my room and watching a blank TV. <laughs> okay. All right. Can I hear from you, please? I have some pictures. Uh, the satellite dish is installed. Uh, It was installed, it was an obstruction on the fire escape. It was sticking out two to three feet, blocking that, the fire escape. Was that the seat. second site? Or that was where she, they put that's it? That's the original site. All right, it can't be on a fire escape. So the big dish, that's, that's a picture of just the handle, not the dish. Correct, that's just the base Right, so there was a big it. dish blocking the fire escape? Yeah, yes. that's not going to work. So you disconnected it, and then you put it in her apartment? No. You disconnected it, and? I went to her apartment, do repairs. I went outside. I had Mr. John Santiago with me, my witness. Come on up. And uh, disconnected the satellite dish. I handed it back to the window to him. He put it on the floor for her. She was there. She accepted the dish. We were done. OK, so can a uh, tenant uh, put a direct TV dish on the roof, attach it to the roof, without getting the landlord's prior consent? What do you think? Um, I say they should get consent. They should get yeah. consent. Do they have to get consent? I've, yeah. I mean, well, like... It, uh, but it, it gets to, is a TV set so essential that you have a right to do that? I don't think so. The roof isn't your actual property. It's the property of the landowner, so you do have to get permission. What if the landlord says, no, you can't put that dish on my roof? Can you break the lease and say, hey, if I can't have TV, I'm out of here? Well, TV is a luxury, so you can. there's other forms of television. It's not a necessity? No, it's not. Oh, my God. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. So tell me again why you think he needs to pay you $440 of your early disconnect fee when you went forward and ordered direct TV without having a plan? Because you can't attach it to the fire escape. That's against the law. And that'll give him building and zoning violations, you know, and incur fines for him. It's completely legal. You can't do that. And so you were precipitous, like you jumped the gun to try to get the direct TV without knowing whether you could attach that thing. It seems to be entirely your fault. So why would he have to pay you $440? And why don't you just get cable like everybody else? Why do you have $700 in emotional distress? Why are you staring at a blank wall? What is it that uh, everybody else in that building does? They have cable TV or uh, whatever yeah. else they have. Yeah. I was told by Mr. Giuliani that it was not blocking the, the um, fire escape and that it was okay where it was located. Um, did you tell her that it was okay? I did not. I did not. Did I you also, ever tell her, yeah, that's fine? No, I told her she wasn't supposed to have a dish because all the apartments are cable ready. Right. They got the wires already installed. You don't need to put a satellite on the a roof. Unless you're trying to get that $100 refer a friend thing, but this turned out to be kind of expensive. Uh, based on everything that I've listened to, my verdict in this case is for the defendant. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on both sides okay? So the bad news comes in for you. Here's the plaintiff right here. Step over, turn around here, and um, tell us what you think about the outcome here. Come on up a little bit. I yeah. believe that people should not be able to enter your apartment without your permission, and you shouldn't be able to attach things to other people's property without permission. So the judge's decision was fair. Okay, okay. Um, you got this now, and what, what, happened, what becomes of this? What are you doing <laughs> with this no now? Clue what I, to I do got with this that. for a housewarming gift for her. You know, uh -huh. when we, I took her out to lunch, when we came back, we found this in the middle of the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you got, what are you going to do with it now? Uh, centerpiece? <laughs> I don't know. What? I, your guess is as good as Serve that. spaghetti? And <laughs> <laughs> you got any better ideas? I have no clue okay. what to do with that. All right, all right. Head around the corner this way, yeah. Huh? All right, so step on in here. Well, how, how do you, uh, why did this happen? She didn't know, she didn't listen to me. Oh. That's why. Mm-hmm. She it, thinks she can do whatever she wants. Mm-hmm. All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Landlord. All right. Harvey. Okay, Kurt, you know, this is a really big issue with landlords and tenants, especially when a tenant moves out and the landlord keeps security. You are not allowed to attach a fixture to uh, the landlord's property without getting that landlord's consent, either in the lease or otherwise. Uh, and a fixture is something generally that is attached to the property and would cause damage if at some point it's removed.